Hey you guys, Frozen Aviox here. I'm coming back to you with another video. I know it's been a while, but I've been moving and a lot of changes going on. I'll explain that later on. But today I'm here to show you how to fix Nexus Mod Manager from not opening. Now, i had been using this for a while, and today when I came in, it just decided it didn't want to open. I looked in the the task manager and everything and when I checked Nexus Mod Manager would open then it would cancel its own process and it wouldn't do anything so what I did to fix that was actually pretty simple and I'm so happy it was uh, normally when you get this it's going to install to either your program files or your program files x86 so mine was in program files here and it wouldn't open so I went and I got the folder, which you can see here. And all I did was, like using this for an example, I drug it up to local disk and moved it there. And I gave it administrative privileges to move it. And once it moved everything over, boom, it opens without a problem again. Apparently it's something with Windows when it installs the program files. If it's not... I've noticed if it's not a game, specifically a game, it has so much trouble, and I don't know why. There's not really any reason to it. It's like it your computer is not giving you access to it here. And it's really strange, but apparently that's how it works. So I would try this. Um, just move it to your local disk. It doesn't matter where. And one of the nice things is when I moved it, like let me show you here it actually kept all my plugins for Fallout 4 when I moved it to the C drive I just made sure like it did the original startup where it asked me you know uh, where's your mods and where do you want me to store these files I just selected the default option and it just re-pulled up all my plugins and everything and it works perfectly again so that's what I'd recommend you doing. Just move it to your C drive or you could probably move it to a different drive. But if that doesn't work, the one surefire thing that should always work is just move the files out here on your desktop here. If you do that, it should give you access no matter what. So if the C drive doesn't work, just move it to your uh, desktop here. Just drag all, like the whole folder, everything out there. But this worked for me. So I hope it works for you guys. Or, you know, just try the method I said. And if that doesn't work, let me know. We'll try to figure something out, alright? Well, I'm hoping I'll be able to get back to making games. Maybe some more reviews for you guys. But right now, we're just going to have to see how this goes. Alright, this is Frozen Aviox. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, like it if you did. Subscribe. Uh, tell me your feedback. All right. See you guys later.